Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. So today I am doing something that has honestly been highly requested, which I feel like it's going to be highly disappointing as well. So I am doing a get ready with me. On my normal day, I don't even wear makeup, so a get ready with me would be extremely boring for you guys. But I have to film like a bunch of videos today, so I figured I would put makeup on because I do usually do that when I am going to be filming. So I figured I'd bring you guys along. It has been requested, and so just bear with me because I, you guys know <laughs> I don't know very much about makeup. And I have posted a video like my everyday makeup look or whatever, and that I was more so like just explaining what I wear for makeup. This, I'm just going to be chatting with you guys and do like a chatty get ready with me thing. I honestly really enjoyed doing that when I did my everyday makeup. It was fun to be able to like talk while I was doing my makeup. But I have just never really been like super de duperty into makeup. So I don't know much about it. I'm still using makeup that honestly, you guys, <laughs> I've had for probably four years Maybe actually I've had I've had this for at least at least six years. I've had this since I met Dominic. So this is a liquid mousse foundation and it's got it's literally I'm, I'm afraid to show it to you guys but I'm going to because it literally has teeth marks in it from Sunday getting a hold of it and like so now there's holes in it. I don't know, I probably shouldn't be using it anymore. I probably should order more, but I just don't wear it as often as I would like to to spend the money on it because makeup be expensive, you guys. So anyway, I was thinking actually, maybe I will also use some of the makeup that I got from Shein. I'm not gonna use that liquid eyeshadow just because I want to be able to show you guys like what I normally do for my eyeshadow. So I have the concealer and somebody told me in my comments that this is to cover up blemishes. I think <laughs> if I remember right. So let's see. God, I'm so stressed you guys. <laughs> I'm stressed to be doing my makeup for some reason. So I just posted a video. I don't know when this one's going to be out. But I just posted a video. Let's just see what this looks like on my skin before I go covering all my blemishes with it. This feels like a mistake. Oh, I remember now. You guys said this goes under my eyes as well. But I feel like it's too dark to go under my eyes to cover my eye things. I'm just going to cover my cheeks with it. <laughs> oh, man. I probably shouldn't choose to use a new product while I'm, while I'm in the middle of trying to film a freaking get ready with me because it's just inaccurate oh and i'm using my hands too this is already going swimmingly <laughs> but uh anyway i just posted today a video where i tell you guys um uh, my mom gets the covid vaccine and i'm like telling you guys how i'm feeling about that obviously and it's clearly not great in the video but I already have like comments on it telling me and it's so funny because it's honestly the exact day that I need to hear all of your comments um not in regards to my mom just in regards to like life in general but you guys are saying that like it's important to like set boundaries and to like they're important to maintain healthy relationships and stuff and so I just really needed to hear that today so I'm super happy that you guys are coming in clutch in that area because uh, Sometimes it's hard. It's really, I, honestly, most times, every time you set a boundary, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not like an enjoyable experience for you either because you're not only hurting the person you're setting the boundary with, but you're also hurting because you wish you didn't have to set the boundary. You wish that your relationship didn't need a boundary, but you know yourself and you have to, um, it's like choosing yourself over that relationship and that's never easy for anybody to do honestly It's really hard to do that when you care about someone So I just really appreciate you guys commenting and making me feel less like a um, Bad person for setting boundaries because genuinely I think they're one of the most important things in life and when I used to not set boundaries so before I met Dominic, I was literally the worst ever at setting boundaries. Like, I didn't. I didn't set boundaries. It's like my family as a whole, just we were very open with each other. And unfortunately, like, it just, 
allowed for people to not set boundaries. And I feel like my my mom specifically, like, my mom never has never set a boundary with me. And I, I sometimes wonder because I set boundaries with my mom all the time. And my mom is so receptive to them. And, like, she really is amazing. My mom, like, she will try her best to, like, understand the boundary and to work with you so that you know that, like, she loves you and supports you even through the boundary you're setting. But unfortunately, when it comes to, like, parents and stuff, like I was saying in that video, it's hard because no matter how great my mom is at receiving a boundary, it's still really, really hard to set them for me personally because even if my mom doesn't express that she's disappointed by me setting a boundary, um, for instance, if I don't want to talk to her for four hours a day, <laughs> Like, genuinely, I want to talk to my mom for four hours a day, but I genuinely can't because I don't have time to do that these days. But, um, for instance, if I just want to get, I need to get off the phone with her because I have work to do. My mom's amazing. My mom's literally, she's like, okay, like, no worries. We'll talk tomorrow. Or she says, call me later if you get a chance. And, uh, that's like, she's not... She's genuinely, like, being very receptive to my boundary. But then on my end, I'm thinking I should, I wish I could continue to talk to her. So me setting that boundary is more like me being hard on myself after I set a boundary than her being hard on me about my boundary. That's just a people pleaser thing, though, I think. Like, when you have to set a boundary for yourself, it's really, really difficult. Even if the other person is receptive to it to actually follow through with that boundary because most times when we're setting a boundary we are accustomed to doing things differently we are accustomed to not having that boundary there so when we set the boundary it's painful for us <laughs> because we genuinely wish we didn't have to set the boundary but then when the person is receptive to it, it makes it a lot easier on us, but it's still hard. It's still so difficult because we're still dealing with our inner dialogue of, but what if, what if this happens? What if something happens to her and I feel bad about not, you know, spending time, as much time with her as I should have, or, or we deal with the inner dialogue of just, I want to be hanging out with my mom. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's like, always easier when the person is receptive but then when they're not receptive to the boundary it is what it is you guys you can't you can't control everyone else's emotions you can only control the way that you handle their emotions and um you need to prioritize your own mental health over someone else's mental health even if that means you are really hurting them and you don't want to hurt them obviously anyway I didn't expect this to get ready to me, get ready with me to be so intense. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It's already been a day and I have so many things to film today. So I probably, I'm just like venting to you guys, I think, because uh, it's just easier to vent than to, than to hold it all in. I feel that way in general in life. You guys know how I feel about that. It's easier to be vulnerable because, uh, well, it's, it's actually easier to hold it all in. Dominic and I talked about this the other day too. It's easier to hold it all in and, like, try to, like, keep it inside and not talk about it than it is to actually let the pain out. But the problem with when you hold it all in is you become a very angry person because you internalize all of that pain rather than allowing yourself to feel the emotion. And we had that conversation because Dominic is the polar opposite of me. I am someone that, like, I will cry through something and I will just let myself get over it. And once I have, like, a nice long cry, I feel so much better. And once I, like, get it all out there, I feel so much better. Whereas with Dominic, like, he internalizes a lot of things and it, and it shows up in anger because he has internalized things through just different things in his life that have taught him that internalizing things is what you should do. And to some extent, that is the right way to do things. You can't, you can't constantly be upset all the time and crying all the time, obviously, when things hurt you. And sometimes it seems like you're being overdramatic at that point when you get upset over every little thing. But otherwise, your option is to internalize it and then it will all come out later after you have been completely just a jerk to people <laughs> because you're angry because you have internalized it so much. What did I watch? You know what it was? <laughs> I watched last night Taylor Swift's um, 
documentary on Netflix, or not on Netflix, the one on Disney Plus, and she talks about the song Seven. Okay, so if you guys don't know, if you guys don't listen to Taylor Swift, there's a song on her album Folklore called Seven, and in it, she's basically talking about how when she was a kid, she used to scream and have temper tantrums and um just like let all of her emotions out but as you get older you learn you learn civility you learn that you can't just be screaming at every chance that you get you learn that you have to you have to control your emotions but when that happens where does that emotion go and it goes obviously internally inside you and makes you have more anger issues and more anxieties because you're not able to vocalize the way that you're feeling. The screaming little kid that you were when you grew up has to go somewhere and it's now inside of you. So I thought that was really interesting what she, that her and Jack Antonoff were talking about it in the documentary on Disney Plus and it was um, interesting the timing that I was watching it as well <laughs> but anyway you guys I'm not going to talk about this the whole time I just wanted to address it because I really appreciate all of you guys like in my comment section and messaging me over on Instagram telling me that like it's okay like boundaries are important and like not to be so hard on myself when it comes to like fearing regrets in the future in my life and just appreciate that I appreciate how how much like I know at the at, on one side I know that I'm there for you guys for a lot and I know that like I'm able to help you guys through different things but I feel like the only way for me to really get through to people when it comes to mental health is for me to be honest about my own situations and my own anxieties so that you guys feel like you can be honest about yours and um that's just I feel like that's the only way to connect with people truly is to be honest and vulnerable and it's just really nice to know that I have such a nice community here that I'm able to do that while you got and you guys are like receptive to that and you just make me feel so good so I love you guys <laughs> but anyway moving right on from that whole deep discussion I'm just doing my eyes right now and this is what happens to me this is what happens to me. It's so frustrating. So you see the side of my eye, like all of that makeup that like gets stuck there. And then I feel like I have like this weird indent on the side of my eye whenever I watch my videos back. And I don't know if it's actually an indent or if it's a makeup. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, and this is why. Okay, so this is the other reason I don't really use makeup like this weird foundation stuff. <laughs> and concealer because I just am not good at blending things even when I have like a blending brush and I think it's so weird because I watch youtubers I'm constantly watching youtubers do their makeup because I'm interested in it it's just I don't know how to do it myself and I clearly haven't learned either because I'm still I'm still looking crazier with makeup than without makeup, I feel. But, oh well. I just have to film, like, I have to film a couple of hauls today. I have to film my bathing suit haul. I have to film my, uh, I had some, a company reach out to me and send me a couple of dresses that I have to film. So, that is my plan for today. I keep trying to put my mascara on, but I keep forgetting I need to wear eyeliner as well. Let's see. Let's do a... Where is it? I want to do, there it is. Let's do a darker um, eyeliner today. I tend to go for like lighter eyeliners. I don't know why, it's just, I feel like it opens my eyes up more, but I always like my eye makeup better with a darker eyeliner, so I always kind of regret doing the lighter ones, but. My friend Alex has been doing this reverse cat eye thing. Have you guys seen that? Where it's like you do the cat eye from the bottom lid, I think, or something like that. It's so cool. She told me I should do it, but there's just no chance in hell I'm going to be able to. So I'm just not very good at that. <laughs> I'm so bad at makeup and my fingers are so, like, my hands are so unsteady that, like, even my lines, if you look at them too closely, you'll see that they're, like, just uneven. <laughs> But whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I feel like I made a mistake in that in using this concealer on my under eyes. If only because I didn't use it on the rest of my face. So now I feel like my under eyes, like right here specifically, 
looks crazy. Hmm. I think I'm just going to use, maybe I'll put some blush on or something. And we'll hope that it covers the concealer up. This is what this is my technique when it comes to makeup. I just keep messing things up and keep trying to cover them up with something else. But yeah, a tool that I've used to help me like with setting boundaries is honestly TikTok, you guys. I know everybody's so against like signing up for TikTok, or at least a lot of people are. But not only is there so many funny things on TikTok, but I just feel like I've learned so many like different things about myself personally through TikTok and like just the things that trigger me and the things that make me me like the things that I have grown up with that make me react to certain ways to things and like it's just such a cool tool that there's so many well I guess <laughs> I guess there's so many like psychiatrists on there but really there's not but like I said it's all about it's a chain reaction, right? So if somebody goes to see a therapist, they get that information and they and they share it on TikTok. They're like, my therapist said this. And like, that's you getting getting a therapy basically from like the second, it's, it's phone tag therapy, obviously. So a lot of it might be misconstrued by their conception or like conception, is that the word? By their perception, that's the word. By their perception of what the therapist said to them. So a lot of it might not actually be accurate. But it's just really interesting to hear because a lot of people obviously don't go to therapy. So, wow, my eyebrows were looking straight crazy. So um, a lot of people don't get to experience that. And a lot of that has to do with the price of therapy. Because your girl has tried to sign up for therapy a million and one times. And... It's just so expensive, you guys. I just can't imagine. Okay, so I just got my eyebrows done like a couple of weeks ago. And I know I need to go probably every couple of weeks because my eyebrows be crazy. I got my eyebrows from my dad and they're very crazy. Okay, so now we're on to the thing that I needed to be on to a long time ago in my brain is the mascara. So what I use for mascara is I use like 50 mascaras. And I don't know why. I just, like, apply a bunch of coats of a bunch of different mascaras and I call it a day. That's the other thing, too. I don't know how people apply fake eyelashes. I would love to be able to be able to do that, but I just know I would apply them wrong. And then they would be falling off. I would look like a crazy person. I would rather just have my normal lashes because I don't... It's so much work. I honestly commend people that are really into beauty because it is a lot of effort and people, the way that people talk about them and like just in general in life, the way people have looked at people that are into beauty and stuff is like they're these, you know, you know, the stereotype of people into beauty. And I just think it's so ridiculous because it's, it takes so much time to actually get into beauty and so much commitment like this is an interest just like guys have the interest of sports and I don't have the commitment to get that into beauty and I am impressed I'm forever impressed by people that do and people that like go get their nails done and stuff because I just I in my brain just can't bring myself to do it because I know that my nails will get ruined in like a second <laughs> It'll take like a week for my nails to be ruined and then you have to go do it again. It's like, I just can't, I just can't get down with that. But the amount of people that love doing that kind of stuff, like, I just think that's so cool that everybody's so different in their interests. And I truly wish I could be into that. Or like going to get my hair done. I wish so bad that I would go, I could go get my hair done, but I just think it's so cool, like, and especially when people master different makeup looks and stuff, I think that is the coolest thing ever, and if I could, if I had the patience, I just admire people so much that are patient enough to try and figure that out, and it's a different, it's a different art form, and I just think it's beautiful, which is why I enjoy watching them and stuff, just because I'm not into beauty doesn't mean I don't like watching people put their makeup on and stuff, I like to, I like to see how they do it, you know? I clearly don't pick up on anything because I don't utilize most of what people do, but... Okay, now I need to go get a toothpick for underneath my eye because as you guys can see, the um, mascara kind of got under my eye there. So, let me go grab that and then I will show you the finished look because this is pretty much it, you guys. 
Okay, so you just have to get this off here. Okay, you guys, so that is the final product. I was going to do my hair for you guys as well in this video, but maybe I'll save that for another day just because I feel like my hair actually looks really pretty and I feel like I could film just fine with my hair. I think I'm having a good hair day today. Thankfully, because normally I wake up and my hair be looking straight crazy. And honestly, it does look crazy too. I don't have any product in it either, you guys. I honestly need to start wearing product in my hair because I feel like that's why it's so like unruly. But you guys remember how I mentioned to you guys that um, vitamin company that I've been using or the little gummy company? I'm obsessed. I genuinely feel like my hair has gotten better. I feel like my nails are a lot healthier. I know that was like not long ago at all that I told you guys about them. But then like as the weeks have gone on, I genuinely have felt like they everything has gotten better. So that's really awesome. I'm excited about it. But anyway, guys, I love you so much. I hope you guys like this video. I'm sorry it ended up becoming like a very deep get ready with me. But I don't know how to do anything else when I'm sitting in this chair. Literally, I feel like when I sit at my desk, I have like flashbacks to when I did my weight gain series or whatever. And I just become deep with you guys. But anyway, I love you so much. I hope you like this video. And I remember to give it a big thumbs up, by the way. I always forget to remind you guys but you guys are pretty good about it anyway but anyway guys i will see you in my next one <laughs>